Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and we're going to talk about the last um, update that was released with uh, bug fixes. That is for the Windows 10 May and October 2020 update or version 2004 and version 20H2. It came in the form of a optional Windows update and was issued on October the 28th. So um, that is, of course, last week. The update, if you don't check updates and don't do anything, is optional. So it didn't install for most of you on those versions. But if you go to Windows Update and you check for updates, it'll be there and the optional updates is going to ask you if you want to download and install it. Now, of course, I always say, the best thing is to stay away from those updates uh, if you have absolutely no problems. But some of you are asking me if there's some major issues that it's actually fixing that are worth knowing about. Um, the three biggest problems that actually is addressed in that update. So, of course, I applied the update. So I've got a... Uh, a cumulative update that was uh, actually released uh, to make sure that the updates are um, done and and um, you know like here we have cumulative update uh, preview for Windows 10 20H2 uh, that was October 29th installed on October 29th here. So the um, update for last week actually one of the major problems that a lot of people were talking about is when you use external displays and have more than one screen some were complaining of black screens or one of the display was staying black or was working fine for a while then turned black so that's one of the issues that it actually fixed uh, if you are using the windows subsystem for linux 2 uh, they also fixed a bug where it didn't work well. So that's something to know about because it's one of the uh, bug fixing updates. So if you were plagued and do use WSL2, uh, that is also a fix for you. Uh, those that have the uh, um, LTE modem uh, that uh, was actually a blocker in windows 10 um, may and uh, october 2020 update by the way it uh, actually uh, uh, fixed they fixed that issue also that also means that some of you that didn't see the may 2020 update or the october 2020 update might actually see it now so that bug fixing update might have unblocked some of you so you might want to check your windows updates to see if the new feature update is available. So that's where we are at. And um, so with, you know, both versions of uh, the October and the May 2020 update, we're close to 30% of, um, of, of people, even more than that have that version of Windows. So uh, remember that uh, the, um, the updates are there and that they're, they're moving on and going well. I still hear a lot of people saying, well, you know, I'm waiting for them to fix all the bugs. Remember, if it shows up in your Windows update, it's because it's okay for you. It does not have, um, you know, any known bugs for your machine. Uh, it, it's not like in the past when Windows updates were just Windows updates. Uh, Microsoft has telemetry and information on your system. So they know if the version is uh, going to install well or not. So these are the main um, fixes. And of course, there's a long, long list of bug fixes also at the same time. So there's a lot of little glitches here and there that are fixed in there. Once again, if you have no problems and no issues at all, um, you don't have to install that optional update. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.